What's good YouTube? What's up PlayStation Nation? It's your boy Jay Bari man. I'm back with another video. Give you greatness once again which is Final Fantasy 7 which is the PS4 which is the PlayStation Nation which is Jay Bari which is my gold headset I'm just listening to things that I'm seeing right now but let's get back to the, the rigmarole and what I'm going to be talking about today um, and that is <laughs> I'm over here just rambling <laughs> that is um, is backwards compatibility really that important to some of these gamers you know what I mean like me personally I think backwards compatibility is, is cool it's a, it's a good thing to have I'm not knocking it but is it the forefront of of the reasons why I buy a next generation you know console and in my opinion no it's not it's just something that I have in the background and it's cool you know what I mean like the PS4 it doesn't have backwards compatibility it has other ways of playing older games but it doesn't have backwards compatibility you know what I mean the PS4 right now you have PS now which play PS3 games um, you know through the cloud you know cloud computing and, and just throwing the games out there in the cloud and you're playing the game from servers um, you know not necessarily locally on your on your console so that's really not really backwards compatibility you know you just can't put the disc in there and have it working and they also have the ps2 emulation um process where you have these games that are redone uh you know up uh tro trophy support added ps4 features and things like that within the game um so that's not it's not really backwards compatibility they are doing uh, with the ps4 the xbox is a little bit different uh it's kind of limited backwards compatibility where they have certain games that they're that is available where you can put the disc in and um you can also have it i think if it's if you had the game digitally or recognizing you can just download it and all that stuff but the reason why i'm asking is it really that important because the other day i asked a question within the facebook groups that i'm in you know what i mean shout out to all the facebook groups that are in you guys know who you you know who you are i asked i said you know especially on the xbox side because i wanted to see on the xbox so that's what i like to do i like to tinker and 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 just mess around and dive into the brains of some of these gamers that's out here in these in these streets so i asked i said with the xbox one backwards compatibility what older 360 games did you guys complete <laughs> you know what i mean and um a lot of people was like well you know i didn't complete a lot of things i just i just i still got to get this i still got to get that and i'm like huh you still got to get what you still got to get what you got to buy what you know what i mean isn't the xbox one free com backwards compatibility <laughs> you know what i mean why are you buying things you guys said that's free you don't have to buy anything that's what i'm saying because a lot of people claiming that they love the backwards compatibility and all that stuff but yet you are buying most of these games you know what i'm saying there's a reason why gamestop that's a gamestop or GameSpot. no yeah gamestop is raising the price to some of these older games you know what i'm saying on 360 they are they are raising the price to the 360 games i seen it i seen it trust me i seen it you know some where they're raising price like mass effect all most of some of the games that's listed on the xbox one um backwards compatibility um you know compatibility yeah backwards compatibility they are raising some of those games like it might be like two dollars it might be like five dollars you know what I'm saying? not much but it is but the, the reason why i'm asking because the same reason i'm asking these questions to these guys i'm asking like yo you know what games are you complete and they hitting me with the oh yeah i still gotta get i guess still gotta get these games that's on the list you know a lot of people talking about they gotta buy these games that's on the list but yet you guys are complaining about ps2 emulation <laughs> where you got to spend tens of 15 dollars or ps now where now they've implemented the 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 99 dollars uh per year to play these games um over over 200 and something games currently right now and people are complaining about eight dollars a month or 830 a month <laughs> you know what i mean because sony's not doing it free yeah, I understand. I understand not everybody fits into that 
that that category where I'm talking about where these guys are buying these games. But majority of them do. More, majority of them, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Like Pepsi, brand name. I guarantee. It. <laughs> You know what I mean? Most of them, most of them are doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these games, these, these dudes don't have. Man, they gotta rebuy it. And I don't care how much you you pay for. You pay five dollars, whatever used. You're still rebuying it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like like I said, the PS4 is not really doing backwards compatibility. And you know what I'm saying? I I see the benefits of backwards compatibility. I'm not knocking backwards compatibility, but I'm trying to see see if it's really that important to gamers you know what i mean or is it just, just it's just a tool used for fanboy wars you know what i mean is it really that important because people people that are hyping this stuff up is not even like playing the games on backwards compatibility you know what i mean you know pe people i i see people say oh i gotta play tomb raider you know what I'm saying? you rather play tomb raider than you rather go to you know playing gears 2 you know what i mean you play that many times you know, I can understand there's certain games like if you have a favorite game, you you play that over, um, you know, the other things like Final Fantasy right here where I'm showing. Final Fantasy is my favorite game of all time. I'm going to play it, you know, with the trophies. <laughs> I'm going to play it over the newer games that's coming out, you know what I mean? So the newer games got to take a chill pill until I, I reach certain areas in the game where I'm like, right, I'm comfortable where I can play another game. You know, that's, and that's where I'm kind of at right now uh, with Final Fantasy. I just got Vincent, so... You know, I feel like I'm very comfortable uh, it's a position where I'm at, where I know the other stuff that I got to do just to, you know, get through the hurdles of the game. But, um, nah, man, I'm like, what people people complain about the things that they are doing already. They're complaining about, oh, we got to buy PS2 games again. Oh, you owe those PS2 games. Do you own those PS2 games right now? Because you sure are buying those 360 games again. You're looking at the list that Xbox One has for backwards compatibility, and you're gaining, you're going to GameStop, you're going to Amazon, and you're buying these games over again. You know what I mean? So, so like I said, yeah, yes, you're playing the games. Yes, it's benefit, it's benefiting you as far as backwards compatibility. But is it that important to you? You know what I mean? I'm like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it for everybody because I understand there are people that do benefit from it or do play those stuff like that you know what I mean? i'm not saying that but i'm just majority from what i see from these facebook groups on youtube from what i hear all i'm hearing is people say, yeah i gotta buy this game again so i can play it on, on the free backwards compatibility <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like huh you, but, you, but you're buying it you're buying the game again but you're complaining about people buying dark cloud 2 for 15 dollars you know what i'm saying like yo i uh, yes yes Yes, you can get Dark Cloud 2 used, probably scratched up disc, all that stuff uh, on PS2. Who the hell right now is going to buy a used PS2 disc? You know you know the risk that you're taking to buying a, a PS2 disc? You know what I mean? How many generations ago was PS2? That's like two generations ago, man. Who's risking that? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, yo, if you're going to buy a game like Dark Cloud 2 or Rogue Galaxy, you're not buying that used. You're going to probably buy that new for like, it's like 60 to to $100 for that new. But you're here and you don't have the PS4 features, the share features. You can't use share play. You can't live stream it. You can, you know, well, you can live stream, but you got to buy extra peripheral, the, the, the Elgato's and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where on, on the, the, the emulation, you can just boom right there. All that PS4 functionality is there. You know what I mean? And yes, I do understand people complaints and all that stuff. But yo, are your complaints really complaints? If you're doing it on the other side, <laughs> you are buying the games over again. <laughs> but yo, let me know in the comment section. Man, I'm rambling a little bit. But yo, matter of fact, PS Now, I, I think I should do a, a new video on PS Now. Let me know if I should do a new video on PS Now, man. Because PS Now is a beast. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how people complain about PS Now. Yes, I understand, I understand, but I don't understand. You know what I mean? Because now with the $99 price tag, of playing these games oh but why should i play a game that i already played you know what i'm saying there's over 200 and something and it just added wb games so i don't even know no more how much games there is but there's over 200 something games now 250 games now that you you know what i'm saying not all of those 250 games you played there's something there's over 100 games on there you haven't played yo you know what i'm saying real talk your game score says it your 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 your, your, your trophy level says it you haven't played all those games you know what i mean so stop the complaint so you're gonna complain for eight dollars a month 
you can play over 250 games I, I don't know man I don't just see the complaining man I just feel like people are just not gamers they're just avid complainers I see some people having some points like yeah I understand yeah you got your PS2 you got your PS3 you got all that stuff good but come on now but let me know in the comment section what you guys think uh, all your opinions do matter trust me I will respond but yeah let me know in the comment section man but yo it's your boy Jay Barry and I'm gone deuces